Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, and understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n which represents the position of alphabet that is in uppercase and also the integer r which represents the number of rows to be printed. So the program must print r rows with alphabets equal to row count as the output. So the row count will be starting from the nth alphabet. So first we are going to accept the integer n that is the position of the alphabet in the uppercase and then the integer r that is the number of rows to be printed and we must print the r rows with alphabets equal to the row count starting from the nth alphabet. So we'll take our first test case. So here the position of the alphabet is 4 and the number of rows to be printed is 5. So the fourth alphabet is D. So we'll start from D. So the, the first line we have the fourth alphabet that is D. And then in the next line we'll have D and E. And after that we have D, E, F. And then we have D, E, F, G. So until now we have four rows. So since the row count is five, we will have the fifth row as D, E, F, G, H. So now this will be our output. Now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case, the position of the alphabet is 25. That is the 25th alphabet is Y. And the number of rows to be printed is four. So we'll start from Y and in the next line we have Y and Z. That is the next row we have Y and Z. And after this, since we have to move in a circular manner, we'll have after Z we'll have A and then We'll have Y, Z, A, B. So now this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get our inputs, the integer n and r. And then we'll iterate over the loops. That is for row in range 1 comma r plus 1 and then for column in range 1 comma row plus 1 and then we'll print the chr of 65 plus column plus n minus 2 mod 26 and use end argument. So finally we'll print new line. So for example if we have n equal to 4 means in the column 1 we'll have 
column plus n minus 2 that is 1 plus 4 minus 2 which is 3 now 3 mod 26 is 3 so 3 plus 65 is 68 so 68 represents the D alphabet that is the nth alphabet so similarly we'll have for our test cases so now let us execute our program we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case here also we have got the correct output Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.